hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with my dress up darling episode number nine reaction okay the previous episode um it was an episode where gojo and marin went to meet the sister the uh, younger sister of juju and uh, yeah we got acquainted with her she is a photographer and uh, she's kind of shy you know like she loves taking pictures of her sister and like you know showing it like you know kind of posting it in social media she started that whole like you know uh, account the social media account and she does that and it kind of like you know just uh like became famous and <clears throat> Like she, like, and she was talking with Gojo and everyone about like all the stuff, and they were like talking about how they're going to go on site to see uh, the place. And they went to an abandoned hospital kind of thing, uh, where obviously Juju was extremely scared to get in. Anyone would be. I don't know what the hell Gojo and they are made of, and Marin and uh, the other uh, Shinju. That's the name of the sister. They are made of. But Juju was very scared. And you know, like then, like they had like a conversation over there. They were talking about you know, camera modes and stuff. While Gojo and Juju had a conversation, Juju said that uh, your work was something that made me, uh, like you know, fall in love at first sight. And that's something that Gojo was really, what can I say, like very happy to hear because that's the same thing that the grandpa actually told him before. Like someday when someone tells you something like that, you'll be able to understand. So he can re he can relate to it now and uh, he came in contact with juju with overwhelming emotion just grabbed her hand and she just passed out because she never had any contact with any guys her age <laughs> she's a person who went to all girls school so yeah, that was that whole thing and then there was that uh, next part with the beach where uh, marin and uh, gojo goes to the beach to just hang out and like weird stuff happened there was like a bird that snatched off the food and stuff and they had a moment, you know, Marin and uh, Gojo had a moment over there. And uh, mine snapped a little picture of Gojo. And <laughs> she was kind of like you know, freaking out and all. And it was cute. So yeah, that was the previous episode. Let's see what this episode brings. This is episode number nine of My Dress Up Darling. So yeah, let's get started. I'll be putting the subtitles and the time you're here. Think it whichever is your preference. And let's start. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Go. All right. <clears throat> Mannequin. Oh. Okay. Again, this girl starts. Oh my god. That's not underwear. That's a swimsuit. <laughs> he was too nervous to respond. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are You're realizing that now you've been doing this from the first episode. Um, what's happened to him? <laughs> He's too excited. <laughs> I feel like. Oh, what is this? Drying the paint? Whoa, what is this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is paint. Mm -hmm. mm, same feeling. Okay. Um, she's probably wearing something. What? <laughs> Wait, what, what, okay. 
um this girl's mind works in a very unusual way which i won't be able to understand i'm sorry like <laughs> what type of i don't think there's any other way that can be sh shown like i don't know is it just me like like she's like oh this can be shown and this cannot be shown i'm like what Oh my god. It's, I, I have to say, it's really a breath of fresh air, uh, you know, if you think of it like that. Like, we've been accustomed to uh, anime girls just beating characters up because they just get, got a little peek of, I don't know, like their uh, like thighs or something. And just, you know, like kicking and beating the main character up. And this girl is like, just, ah, you can watch if you want to, I don't care. <laughs> Oh boy. <clears throat> okay, let's see. A lot happened after I saw that photo. Okay. Oh damn, that, that's the costume. Wow, oh this really looks good on them. Oh fear, okay. Wiring. <laughs> okay there you go look at that um what's happening to Mari is she oh, okay no never mind <laughs> Um <laughs> Yes, it's insane. <laughs> uh <laughs> <clears throat> Oh. There you go. She's giving her tips. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like this is going to hurt. Oh. It's probably Yeah, obviously mm. ah. <laughs> Yeah Okay, let yeah show us Wow, oh my god, this is insane. She looks so different. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is really good. I feel like this is even better than Shizuku Tan's cosplay. <laughs> What happened? Oh, raining. Okay. The cursed rain. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh yeah, they're going to do a photo shoot inside. Oh yeah, she can't do it because she's short. <laughs> Same. Uh, yeah, I was, I was just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> right in the fields. I okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah, she he does. She doesn't care about it, you know. Like, <laughs> obviously. Number of pictures of your meals. <laughs> Wait, what did I others think? Uh, okay. Oh, they're here. What? Wait, what the? Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, is, is that day when she... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's that day when she fainted. No, that was not the... <laughs> yeah. What? Oh yeah, yeah, that, that that part when she was talking about cosplaying, she she felt bothered. I was just saying like Gojo actually noticed that. This part. Oh, so she came in cosplay. That's what happened. That's why everyone's surprised looking at her now. There you go. Oh, who's that? Uh, she probably has some complex, as I said. There you go. Okay, I have to talk about this later on. The whole thing where Juju said that I won't cosplay something that is not in my physique. That probably bothers. Okay, I'll talk about it later. There you go. I was just saying. Like, like that's her thing, you know, like for, for Shinju, she can do what she wants to. Yeah, it doesn't matter who you want to cosplay. Yeah. If, if you want to, you can do it. Like, it doesn't matter whether the physique matches or not. Yeah. There you go. Like, that's her thing, her inner code or whatever. That doesn't apply to Shinju. Shinju can do whatever she wants to.
Yeah, I'm wondering. Probably someone like in a shorter um the 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 friend? This one? Oh, a, f a male. Okay. Oh, okay. The, that guy. Okay, that's why she was saying that. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Um, we'll manage. <laughs> I don't think like a me. Oh yeah, <laughs> I just forgot. <laughs> but it's a male costume. I'm. I feel like it'll be a lot more cheaper. But you have to buy the wigs and stuff, I guess. I'll definitely figure it out. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's very a common. Uniform, you know, it's like white. Wait, is she changing? Okay, never. Thank God, I thought that. <laughs> Probably. Probably very tight. Oh my God. Yep, I knew it. You need to use uh, those things. I, I I don't know what the name. I think they call it sarashi or something like the ones that you use to bind whoa what the? there was a bullet there was not a button is <laughs> a sarashi or i don't know i think that's what it's called Um, kimono. There you go. Okay, there you go. It is called Sarashi. <laughs> yeah. It's probably very uncomfortable, you know, like, but yeah, but they do it because they want to. My God, what the, oh, there you go. Now we are at the present. She's in cosplay and that's why everyone's, so, oh, there, there you go. A lot better. Maybe open, open the dress so that. Like she's tugging, tucking it in. That's why maybe. Broader shoulder. He, what? What's that? Wait, what? Cheap, it's cheap. Is it really that easy? I, I have no idea about these things. Measure head circumference. 
Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay, there you go. Hmm. Will they be able to do it? Ooh, these needs. Oh yeah, he's accustomed to using like cutting Hina doll's hair, I'm guessing, so what what's happening? Wait, he didn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Hmm. He had. Hmm. Oh, interesting. <laughs> uh. Yeah, true. Yeah. Your your sister also has something probably that bothers her. That's still expensive, you know. But yeah. Okay. Okay, how is she? Yes! There you go. Wow, this looks amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No need to worry. Hmm. Okay, don't cry. Your eye learner is going to. <laughs> yeah, it, it's looking a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh god, that was a very wholesome episode. Look at that. I was just talking about this in the previous episode. I was saying like, most probably something bothers Shinju. Like I kind of took it in a very different direction. I was thinking about, oh, maybe she got, you know, bullied in class maybe or something like, I mean, we've seen this in anime happening before, you know, like 
like kids being kids like you know just kind of bullying others because you know they they are kind of different and she is quite tall and big so i thought maybe like you know in her class maybe someone told her something said like oh like yeah you're different you doesn't look like you wouldn't look good in cosplay something like that i thought like maybe that's why she is so hesitant in doing it um turns out that was not the case but she herself thought that her sister wouldn't like it because um i'm going to talk about this like you know her sister has a different um thought on this like you know, different take on this whole cosplay thing she said that i do characters that i feel i will be able to pull off you know that's like her code that doesn't mean that shinju needs to follow the same code she can cosplay whoever she wants to you know whoever she likes that is juju's code not her so that's basically it you know like if she likes to cosplay someone she can do it even if that's the end even if her physique or even if she does not match the character if she wants to she can do it she should do it you know like that's 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 basically that's what's called uh, that's what cosplay is so okay um this episode um okay the first part we see uh marin just you know like like they like brought all the clothing and stuff for the new cosplay of black labellia and uh, <laughs> she again like you know marin's um shame threshold is i don't think it exists um she sometimes kind of gets a little bit embarrassed but most of the time she doesn't even you know doesn't even bother her so she's just like you know like flapping her skirt <laughs> even if there's a swimsuit underneath it still like you know like people are supposed to feel a little bit ashamed like kind of embarrassed about it but ah, no, that, that it doesn't bother her and <laughs> but like it doesn't bother her but our boy gojo he, he's, he's not that immune to all of this i'm sure he'll he'll probably get used to all of this you know by the way this is going i feel like spending time with mine is going to make him probably just immune to all of this you know like later on she'll he'll just like you know look at it and feel like that's like normal you know like he'll be like ah this doesn't bother me at all i feel like that's what's going to happen in the future <laughs> he won't get bothered at all and uh, okay so <clears throat> She comes here and she's like okay like these these are all the dresses and she's like okay i sent you the um picture of my swimsuit like you, you didn't even respond and gojo just like you know slides around like you know, away <laughs> and now here's the thing oh my god this this scene here mine actually finally realizes that gojo is getting embarrassed this is episode nine she's understanding it now she's like wait a minute maybe maybe you're getting embarrassed <laughs> you know like is that what's happening and she's had like this weird smirk in her face like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and and she's like uh, i'm like okay thank god she actually understood like because up until now i don't think she ever realized that kojo is actually embarrassed whenever she do does these kind of things and <laughs> finally she understood in this episode oh boy and uh, yeah that was that okay and then we see like okay what was that was that paint i think that was paint wasn't it the the thing she was kind of blowing yeah it it no it was not i think i think it was something oh it it's like a transparent what is that it's like a transparent glass or whatever okay she kind of painted on it and it all right so it, it's like an ornament the, the, the ornament that she would probably need for the cosplay or something like that okay that's what it was and now here's the thing here's one thing mine says mine says like oh i'm also being useful now i've always thought like mine probably felt this uh she probably like you know in that episode as we saw before where gojo was too much like you know just covered with work he got so sick and everything that episode um mine wasn't able to do anything to help him and i've always felt that mine probably felt bad about this because you know this whole cosplay thing was mine marine's idea 
mine wanted to, like you know go just help on this and i feel this like I can, I can probably imagine how she feels where she sees gojo being slumped with work so much work and her being unable to help in that even though she's the one you know that suggested the whole cosplay thing and asked for gojo's help she herself isn't able to do anything except the money you know except paying the money she can't do anything to help so I, I've always felt that she probably got bothered by this whole thing because cosplay is something that she herself wanted to do. It's something that she loved. So being unable to help Gojo in that and putting all the burden on him, you know, like probably made her uncomfortable up until now. And that's why she's so happy now. She's like, OK, finally, I can do something to help you out. And um gojo also kind of related to that because she like you know he said like uh that episode like oh i'm also useful you know here um so yeah that was a nice little scene a cute part uh, po like you know a portion of that episode okay and then um oh my god and then she starts changing again in front of gojo and she's like oh i don't i don't care this the 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 underwear that i'm wearing is something that if I show, like, you know, it, it could be shown to everyone. And I'm like, what type of <laughs> is that? But then she, like, you know, kind of peeks in and she's like, wait a minute, this is something different. Like, don't look. And then she gets, gets embarrassed. Like, <laughs> oh my God. She, she's like, a, she's a build. It's like she's a different type of character completely. And I really like that. As I said, like, you know, this is like a completely different thing than female character that's we have we have always gotten where female character usually gets angry at even like a little you know peak they just start either screaming or beating up the character main character but like you know Marn is just completely opposite to that and it's kind of nice to see uh like you know ex like an exception to that whole uh formula of you know female characters beating up the male male characters just because you know, like they kind of got a little peak <laughs> but yeah anyways um okay so the next part we get to see the cosplay dresses and that looks amazing i have to say you know the way the, the, the dress is made and everything and this time the dresses are a lot more uh you know like it's, it's a lot has a lot of more fabric the whole thing with shizukutan was a lot different obviously because she's like an eroge character like she had this like you know like this like open like you know chest area and the like you know like this garter belt and stuff and with very short skirt and everything like is it was revealing but here this one is like a, i guess it's like a uniform kind of you can say uh that you wear with a hat and it's a lot more covered and everything and it looks a lot like what can i say like this looks a lot elegant classy you can call it this cosplay it, like you know they look smart you know in this cosplay and it it, it looks it looks really great on both of them both juju and um marin <clears throat> and okay they were like talking about everything like gojo saying some stuff to juju juju like you know responding and everything like talking in like um i feel like like some um using some tough words and terms and marin is like whoa that sounds cool i wish i knew what they were talking about <laughs> oh boy and uh, okay then the wig and the makeup and here is uh where juju gives some tips to marin you know like things that she feel like she should be doing but she's not doing that's why you know like the cosplay could have been a lot more better and he gives she gives her tips and stuff and then we see the um the the, the thing the cello tape or whatever you call it the thing to kind of stretch your eyes to look more like the character and it does seem very uncomfortable and it is like transparent so it wouldn't be seen from your you know from like you can't see that you know, tape because it's transparent i think that's what's transparent okay they completed uh the uh, like you know cosplay uh and the wig and the eyes and my god i have to say marin's cosplay looks fantastic especially uh her eyes and the way she looks after like you know wearing the wig and all she looks like a completely different character like you know like her eyes is like roundish eyes but when she uses that thing she, her eyes, eyes completely changed it's like a more pointier a more a more cool looking you know like uh, like you know eye eye style you know those cool looking characters you see cool looking female characters who have this pointy 
you know like slanted pointy eyes he looks like someone like that and that's definitely looks like black labellia you know like the pointy tilted slanted eyes and yeah i, I love the, the 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 what do you call them uh di dichromat no oh my god i forgot the term the the, the two uh, two i different color what do you call it mono no dichroma something like that oh my god i forgot the term anyways you know like the two different uh eye color that they like you know the, the contacts they used and everything and uh yeah it looks fantastic and juju was like yeah this is really good and um mine was also kind of really hyped up about it and he's like she's like oh this is really great and this looks so fine and then they go to the actual place and it's raining now for a moment i thought like oh it's raining so everything's probably just you know going to be delayed or something but then i realized like they're supposed to take the uh, pictures in a in an abandoned hospital where the rain wouldn't come so i'm like okay it's fine you know you can just but mine was kind of bummed out she's like oh gloomy <laughs> atmosphere but i feel like that's probably better in this case because you know like i feel like the the, the anime that they're cosplaying kind of has like a gloomy it would, would look better in a gloomy background background just like juju said here and uh, okay and mine is very like you know like happy about this and she's like okay can i take a picture with you and, and uh, you're just like okay fine like yeah now here gojo and um shinju are missing and they're like okay where are they because they aren't coming you know uh, they were supposed to come and they come in and everyone's surprised and then we kind of go back to uh uh the the, the previous day the flashback scene where juju collapsed <laughs> and like, we see what happened after that part um they kind of go on their own way juju is a little bit embarrassed like you know looking at uh uh gojo <laughs> and uh, yeah they go on their own way uh juju also goes away now gojo stays gojo talks to shinju and gojo's like now I, I kind of said this before in the previous episode i said like gojo actually kind of uh paid attention to that whole scene where um shinji was a little bit shy and wasn't comfortable in talking about his stuff I, th I said like gojo probably realized that and there you go he's realized what was happening he comes to shinji and he's like is something bothering you like you know you can talk maybe i i feel like you maybe you think that like, you want to cosplay but you don't you know like if i'm wrong just you know like ignore me and shinju says like yes now this thing here as i said like the thing that bothering shinju here like i thought in the previous episode i said i thought it was like bullying or something probably people some person said to him that ah you wouldn't look good that's why she's uncomfortable but turns out no that's not the case here the actual case is that we like we already know what uh, juju is like like you know juju's code of cosplaying as she said herself um i cosplay characters that i have like a uh, similarity to like um the shion shion yeah shion is a character who has like the same physique same height like me so you know i that's why i cosplay her and like you know like just like you know i, I can do better because of our like you know similar physique and everything and i feel like like you know that's me giving 100 percent of my thing that's why I never do a character who who does not have the similar physique to me. I would never do Black Lobelia because I don't have the physique for that. Now, this thing, I as I said, you know, like this is something that's her own code. You know, like she likes it like that. That's why she does it. That's only her. That does not apply to anyone else, you know. And I'm pretty sure that she herself knows that and she herself respects anyone else if they decide to do some character that they don't have the physique for i'm pretty sure she she respects that as well it's just for her she feels like she wouldn't do it because you know that's that's just her own thing her own code she wouldn't do it but she wouldn't mind if someone else does it especially if it's a sister but her sister shinju thought that oh my maybe my sister is going to get mad at me if i do it because uh, you know like the character that i'm going to cosplay it's completely different you know like uh like a different gender and you know like i don't look anything like that person and everything but since my sister is so you know like 
like minds these kind of things as so like you know like she kind of cosplays the same character having the same physique maybe she'll get mad at me if i do it that's what was bothering her and, and that's why she never said anything to her, her sister she says that to gojo and gojo's like it'll be fine you know like that's your sister trust her and you know you do your thing i'm going to help you out and yeah Okay, now then we get to see how, what Gojo did after that, you know, like we see her, um, okay, where is that? Okay, now she, he asks like, okay, so who do you want to cosplay? And I also thought she probably wanted to cosplay that pink haired girl, you know, like, but she says like, it's, it's the, I think Soma Onisan, yeah, that's his name, uh, the male character, one of the male characters and she says like that character i want to do and uh, with like you know as i said like you know, as we've seen a lot of female characters does male cosplays a lot of male characters also do female cosplays you can do whatever that you want to you know like you can whichever character you like you can become that like you know it's it's not like oh like you know you, since you're a female you have to only do female cosplay nothing like that we've seen and there's like a lot of amazing cosplays like that so that's not a problem so here we see the next from the next day onwards gojo starts helping her out and you know like with the different clothing and stuff and oh and another thing like you know the the money problem she she's a middle schooler i think yeah she's a middle schooler she cannot go to part-time jobs and asking help from her sister is obviously a no-no because she wants to surprise her sister so that's a problem and now as i said like you know this the, the main character cosplay especially this guy so my nissan whatever he just wears a school uniform so i thought and that's why i said like oh this would be a very cheap because it could be easily gotten hold of and there you go gojo found out like you know his mm, school cost uh, school uniform was something similar to this cosplay so he brings out his uh, old clothing old school uniform and gives it to shinju and uh, yeah but obviously the chest area it doesn't fit <laughs> and i was just talking about sarashi you know like i was a little bit like you know like what can i say i, I didn't remember the actual name I, I i thought that it was called sarashi and turns out it is called a sarashi and i did not know that it's actually a part of a kimono i did not know that but i knew like characters actually use sarashi to bind you know their chests to like you know for cosplaying and stuff and a lot of other things you know like in animes we've seen uh, female characters kind of uh like you know act like you know just disguising as male characters they use sashi to do it um so <clears throat> there gojo says like okay like he first he kind of goes to the end like you know like no um oh my god that scene <laughs> that was a hilarious scene when the button just bursted out this shot it reminded me of that anime i think it's called defrag yeah it's defrag isn't it where there's like a scene where there's a female character who just you know i don't know like kind of does something like it's like wearing a tight shirt and the button just shoots out <laughs> yeah it's defrag i remember it um it reminded me of that scene oh boy anyways okay now she like you know goes to kind of things and brings out the sarashi and you know like he gives it to her and says like okay this might work she does it kind of works but still it is kind of still visible so like he goes to the internet which is obviously the best place to go asking any answers for any questions you have and here they get to know like it's called what is it called a just flattener what beholder okay beholder like i had no idea about what this was neither did gojo I think that's pretty obvious, you know, so, and I think like even uh, Shinju didn't have any idea what it was. So this thing actually, what, what is it like, just flatten it with hooks, undergarment that will help flatten the volume of the chest when cross-dressing, cosplaying or wearing formal clothes. For B to H cups, it can almost completely flatten your chest. There you go. So yeah, this thing, and it's quite in, like not cheap, it's like, how much? thousand dollars or something like that. not dollars sorry what am i even saying thousand yen <laughs> like thousand dollars a lot sorry <laughs> thousand yen something like that I, I can't find the price tag but anyways uh, it was cheap so 
yeah she's like he's like okay let's like you know like i'll I'll buy this we'll buy this and we'll use it and oh my god another um awkward situation here gojo tries to <laughs> measure her head but oh boy an awkward situation you know happens um yeah let's let's just ignore that you know like i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to yeah explain that situation we already saw what happened all right so now the next day they bring the wigs and we see gojo kind of cutting it and doing thing and him kind of getting nervous about it and just like oh you're also like you know nervous about these things aren't you and like i thought like you were like this type of person who can do anything because all your cosplays are so amazing and now i always forget like as, as gojo said as well gojo always also always forgets she's a middle schooler you know there's a lot of things that she would not understand and it would be very new to her so this thing as well she thought like oh gojo like look at him he he did so many good cosplays he must be like some kind of a, like you know like nothing troubles him she must be that type of a person when it comes to making mix making clothing uh, but there you go like you know like uh, everyone has like a problem that they have and this is like another thing that she never realized because of, obviously of her age she's she's like you know quite young and young people like you know tend to think like oh look at that person he can he or she can do everything that that means uh, nothing troubles that person but no everyone has a trouble you know in some way or the other even the most uh what do you call it like you know even the most happiest or even the most like uh, what do you call it richest or even the most uh the you know, most fulfilled person has troubles and like you know some has more some has less and <clears throat> that's when you know like he shinju realizes like oh my sister i've always looked up on like you know to my sister as like a role model she probably has some troubles herself as well you know which she never shows anyone and yeah he realizes that and gojo here was talking about marin you know how she was like a uh, you know like like someone who he like a role mo not role model but uh what do you call it a guide or something yeah like she's someone that she he looks up to you know because she's so outgoing so comfortable with her herself which is something that gojo is not you know like he is not comfortable with himself at all the way mind talks about anime ero gaze in front of his, her friends never giving any type of damn about who is listening to her or who doesn't like it she just talks about it gojo could never do that he could never do that at least now you know like and him seeing marin like that yeah like that's a very big deal you know because he sees that oh like this is something that i also have trouble with but look at marin she is not being affected by it at all and look at me i'm just sitting in a corner in my classroom with no friends just you know like just staying there and doing nothing and that's why she thinks of mine as a role model especially in this department and i'm sure gojo little by little will also kind of open up and you know be a lot more outgoing as he spends more time with mari yeah she kind of talks about that and all i i don't think shinju realized who he was talking about but anyways um now he okay he then says that he brought some makeup okay um 9500 yen that's still expensive you know uh, outfit 0 yen b holder 3600 yen oh it's 3600 sorry not 1000 yen it's a lot more Okay um wig uh 7 uh, 1799 yen color contacts 2000 yen almost makeup tools shoulder pads etc about 2000 yen yeah this i think this was a lot more cheaper than mine's cosplay you know like this whole thing it 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 was a lot more cheaper and obviously because the costume itself he had it in his house okay now they do the like you know like the makeup and stuff and the planting thing and yeah he looks she looks completely like soma oni san i think that was his name yeah and yeah she she looks unrecognizable really like if actually someone like you know put those two characters like you know shinju and this character that she's cosplaying side by side you wouldn't be able to tell that they are the same person 
Like I felt the same when I looked at uh, Marin's Black Lobby like cosplay, cosplay as well. Like everyone looks so different when they're cosplaying. Like that's really well done. And uh, yeah, now here again back to the present. Um, she comes in front of everyone, and the first thing that her sister does is Juju does is she's like goes to her and she's like, "Oh, this is amazing! Like you know, this looks so good. You know, like you look completely like Soma. You know." and she's so excited so happy like there you go i feel like this scene completely blew out all the worries that uh, shinju had about her sister kind of you know like not liking the cosplay because she you know, you know like the whole thing as i said you know she does whatever characters that she has the physique for so she thought that she was not going to like her cosplay but there you go like that's only her own quote she wouldn't like you know impose that on anyone else and this is her sister you know like if her sister does something like that it's very you know like it's it's very nice now here's the thing you know like i feel like this thing was a very big deal to um juju here because this is one thing like cosplaying is something that juju loves doing and seeing someone else also doing that who is like your sister or your brother that's a huge thing you know like uh, as i said like you know we, we people Something that we love from our heart, for example, like, you know, you guys and me as well, like, you know, we love anime, that's why we watch it. And if a cat, like, if, a, if we know a person who doesn't watch anime or doesn't, do, like, you know, like, you know, is not involved with anime, and if someday, like, you know, they say, like, oh, I've started watching anime, it, it looks really good, I, like, you know, I, I, I'm wa I want to watch it more, you feel happy, you know, like, and, it's more if, 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 if it's like you're one of your family members or something, maybe your brother or your sister, you feel immensely happy. You're like, okay, finally, I got someone to talk about this thing, you know, like, and just, it, it makes you happy. So this, this is a similar thing for Juju as well, I'm guessing, you know, this is like, just that this is cosplay, not anime, but cosplay. And it's also something like she loves doing. So seeing her sister do the same thing that she loves doing, it's something that probably brought a lot of joy to her so like just look at this you know like Shinji thought that she was going to get angry at her but nah she's happy and that's pretty normal you know like that's pretty all like you know, this was going to happen obviously because yeah like now she can have someone to talk about these things and you know like and that's her sister like it, it, it makes you happy when you get to know like oh someone else also likes something that you like it's a, it's a different, it's a happy feeling you get. And it's similar to that here as well. And as always, mine is also very hyped up about this. They're like, oh, let's take a selfie, a, a little picture. And yeah, they take a picture and there you go. We have all the people here. Uh, uh, what's her name? Sion? Sion, yeah, Sion, Soma, and Neon. All three. And we're ready to begin the official photo shoot. Next episode, I'm guessing. So yeah, that was it. That was my reaction to this episode of uh, My Dress Up Darling. This is episode number nine. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So yeah, that was it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week with another episode of My Dress Up Darling. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.